Mysterons, sworn enemies of Earth, possessing the ability to recreate an exact likeness of an object or person. But first, they must destroy. <laughs> the fight, one man fate has made indestructible. His name, Captain Scarlet. Snow Cougar 21 to hotspot control. Hotspot Control. Come in, Snow Cougar 21. I am approaching Eskimo Booster Station. Are there any special orders? Yes. Make it a thorough service and hurry it up. Met report says the weather's closing in. Force 9 blizzard expected. It may be the last inspection till the weather eases up. So don't take any chances. Don't worry. I'll see everything's okay and the lifeline's left open. I know what would happen at the bottom of the tower if anything went wrong. Right. But get moving or you'll be caught in the storm. I'm on my way. Over and out. I can't see.
have the Space Administration C and C, General Reva, sir. I'm not surprised. Put him on. Colonel, we've got to stop the Mistrons this time, or our expedition will never succeed in reaching Mars. I fully understand, sir, but there's a lot of ground to cover. Where do we start? Right here at Space Administration Headquarters. I'll give you all the data you need, but you've got to act fast. I'll send two of my best men right away, sir. We'll be expecting them. Get me Captain Scarlet and Captain Blue. Captain Scarlet? Sir? And Captain Blue? Yes, Colonel? You will proceed immediately to Space Administration Headquarters and report to General Rebus. What are the most important aspects of the new rocket program, General? Well, remember, we're trying to cut the transit time to Mars by one-third. That means a new fuel formula, more advanced electronics, half a dozen things. We're hoping to begin test orbits in six weeks. Then you're not ready to go? No, we've had to change the specifications of the nose casing material to withstand the higher stresses involved. A difficult problem. Yes, and we found that only tritonium alloy can give 100% protection. Tritonium? But that's only made in the laboratory, in minute amounts. Wrong. We found a natural source of supply in commercial quantities. A natural source? Where, sir? The only tritonium mine in the world is at the bottom of the sea, under the North Pole. The North Pole? Yes, Captain. There it is. A mine under the North Pole. How do they keep the ice back? It's obviously a tremendous problem. It'll be interesting to see how they do it. I noticed a booster station and power line. They must need a tremendous supply of power. something, a turnpike at the North Pole. This is it, Hotspot Tower. After the security check, we'll ask to see the commander. SIG. to identify yourselves. Spectrum, Captain Scarlet and Captain Blue. You may proceed. going out to check the booster at Eskimo again. Central controls order. Rather you than me. It's 60 below out there. It's my job. It's a long way down. Right. The mine is over 1,000 feet below the ice. Yes. It means our only link with Spectrum will be through Hotspot Tower. Gentlemen, welcome to the hotspot mining complex. Complex seems the right word. Well, it's a remarkable achievement, but the principle is simple. I think the map will explain it. This is Eskimo Booster Station, the most vital point of the whole setup. 
That's on the polar ice field? We saw it as we drove in. Yes. At Eskimo, the power is boosted to an output of 100,000 volts. Dangerously high. Dangerously? Captain Scarlet was thinking it's high enough to kill him. Well, you're joking. 100,000 volts would disintegrate any man. Captain Scarlet is tougher than most. Uh, anyway, uh, as I was saying, here at Eskimo, we boost the power to 100,000. And believe me, we need it. The power line and the two supply pipes are taken along here, above the bridge to the tower. Just how do you keep the ice at bay? Well, that's why we need such high voltage. These lines here are, in fact, heating elements that keep the temperature of the water above freezing. If the current failed, in less than half an hour, the sea would freeze, and the expanding ice would crush the tower. I see what you mean about Eskimo station. Yes, but we're pretty careful about Eskimo. It looks as if you need to be. This is Captain Black, relaying instructions from the Mr. On. The hotspot mining complex must be destroyed. You know what you must do. I know what I must do. Well, that's about it. We're pretty isolated, but we don't leave anything to chance. The Mysterons won't succeed here. The ring of water around hotspot is kept at a constant temperature of 60 degrees. We have a 24-hour aerial patrol, and our nuclear submarines are maintaining watch under the ice. We are perfectly safe. I wouldn't bank on that. Those pipelines and cables are the tower's lifeline. And if they're broken, no air, no power, no tritonium mine. And no space program. <laughs> What was that? Oh, it's probably a bad generator changeover at the booster station. We have a maintenance man working there now. Let's hope that's all it is. Was well, that the temperature gauge? Yes. We can absorb a 10% voltage fluctuation. There's no immediate problem. That must be more than a 10% drop. You're right. I'll check the circuits. I think you'd better. Just look at that temperature now. It dropped five degrees in a few seconds. I've switched the lighting to the auxiliary supply, but the main circuits aren't responding. What does that mean? It means trouble, a power failure. Can we do something about it? All the circuits are under automated control. The fault will be traced and repaired. Well, how long will that take? Well, we have a highly efficient emergency procedure. Everyone knows exactly what to do. It won't take too long. Can we do anything to help? No, it's all right, Captain Scarlet. We'll check it out. The temperature is falling fast. The alpha circuit has been cut. How serious is that? Well, it means this is no ordinary power failure. Someone has cut the main power line to everything in the tower, and that includes the heating elements. The heating elements? The sea will begin to freeze. I'm afraid so. Like a frozen noose tightening around the neck of the tower. The 
ice is already building up. I've checked right the way back. The trouble is at the booster station. We must get those heaters back on, or the whole mine will be destroyed. I'm sorry to say the situation is all too clear. We've no power. Somehow we've got to get to that booster station and find out what's wrong. That's the answer, but how do we do it? The elevators are the only way up and they're out of action. How do you inspect the exterior of the complex? We have a water lock and specially heated suits, but the pressure variation is enormous. You develop the bends. You'd never reach the surface alive. It's our only chance. I must take it. Wait. Nielsen, the maintenance man at the booster station, is probably a Mysteron. And remember, high voltage is the one thing that can kill you. It can also kill you. I must go. How long do we have? Well, I'd say in less than 20 minutes, the sea will freeze completely and crush the tower like matchwood. Right. I'd better move fast. <laughs> General Rebus for you, sir. Yes, General. Trouble, Colonel. We've lost contact with Hotspot Tower. Lieutenant Green, get me Captain Scarlet. I can't raise Captain Scarlet or Captain Blue. They could be at the bottom of the shaft. In that case, we wouldn't reach them on spectrum wavelength. Looks bad, Lieutenant. I believe it to be the work of the Mysterons. <laughs> Yes, Captain Scarlet. How are you making out? Fine. I've made it to the surface, but the ice is closing in. I've got to get across the bridge before it collapses. Good. But once you leave the tower... We'll lose radio contact. Right. I'm on my way to Eskimo Station. SIG. And good luck. The tower's under tremendous strain. It wasn't built to take this sort of pressure. Well, it's up to Captain Scarlet now. Ice is closing in. The pressure is really building up. The 
temperatures dropped another 10 degrees. Captain Scarlett should be at the booster station by now. Temperature's down to minus 30. The tower can't hold out much longer. Come on, Captain Scarlet. Nielsen, I know you're up there. Yes, Earthman. I warn you, Nielsen, throw down that gun. Don't be stupid, Earthman. In a few minutes, Hotspot Tower will be destroyed. You've lost. Don't try anything. I'm coming down. Power's on. He's done it. Captain Scarlet made it. Well, Captain Scarlet, you took a desperate chance in that booster station. It was a desperate situation, Colonel. Another couple of minutes and the hot spot tower would have been crushed. Yes, but the Mistrons nearly achieved their object. The mine was badly damaged and will be out of operation for at least six months. Yes, Colonel. They're a formidable adversary. But we must continue the fight. <laughs> Superman, they crash him and his body may 